Thank you for staying with us. The healthcare professional is here and her name is Julie Mobo. <laughs> Julie Mobo is a registered nurse with the Nursing and Midwifery Council of Nigeria and she is of the family bond nurse. Thank you for joining us, Julie. In fact, Amen. when I saw family bond, I said that was, that's where I'm going to start my question. Hey, no. <laughs> what exactly is um, the family bond? What does that mean? So this is about bringing the light to the power and purpose of relationships as it relates to our health. So what we do is to help families, individuals and their family members, and even their caregivers, leverage on the different relationships their individuals are surrounded with in order to prevent illness, illness, manage health, and then improve on their overall well-being. Now, for instance, someone might fall ill and then may not be able to harness or work with or leverage their different connections. They may not know the ones that are negatively affecting their health yeah. and they may not know the ones that may be far away mm. but are positive and useful enough to help them recover from their illnesses. Mm. So what we do is we bring out the light we shine the so light on relationships I'm and happy, the role and play. I, I'm happy because we just had um, Priscilla um, talk about her status as an HIV, um, someone living with HIV. Now tell me, how does this connectivity, you know, how did it help her? Because 19 years, she's looking all, all blooming and all Glowing. of that. Glowing. Yeah, so how do you think families can help um, when it comes to cases where people are diagnosed with a terminal illness or maybe <laughs> a disease or something? Okay, regardless of the kind of illness, mm. everyone needs a support system. Awesome. Everyone needs a support system. And it's expected that your family should be the primary support system. Mm -hmm. But what Family Bond teaches is that bond is not necessarily by blood. Ooh. Yes. Oh, fantastic. You know where Lamy's question was coming from? Yes, I was going to ask a question. That what yeah. informed your line of, expert, of, of practice? Because... When I hear nurses... She's a professional thing, nurse, yeah. Yeah, the only thing I hear about is being confined within the hospital environment. Yeah, so the, the first so thing was the, the death of my, my dad. He had an accident okay. and then was uh, taken to the hospital, the public hospital where I'm working, they were on strike. And I, I felt that the, the hospital was taken to, mm. they left him there for some days without treatment. They wow. were not equipped to handle that particular case. He had a spinal injury. Okay. So I felt that if these people then knew that this man played a critical role in his family, mm. he had a daughter who saw him as a superhero, they would do all within their power to get this man back to his mm. family. That was one. Then I became a nurse. Then my encounter with patients, I discovered that most of the problems that landed patients on hospital beds had little or nothing to do with the diagnosed illness. True. Mm. So the first patient I had in contact with was one that had high blood pressure. Mm. He, he had a killer value, mm. as in he had no business walking with his two legs. And when I got closer to him, I discovered that he had problem with his finance, had problem with not getting married, mm. had problem with um, his job, had problem because the mother was selling household items to foot his hospital bills, had problem with his career. So wow. that made me now realize that, okay, why not step out from the hospital environment, go to the field, mm -hmm. where people will have a healthier connection with everything that they are engaged with. Your career, what's your relationship with the career you're practicing now? Mm -hmm. What's your relationship with money? What's your relationship with your family members? A mother will always be a mother. That was what I told him. I said, your mother will keep selling everything to her last wrapper just to ensure that you are well. Absolutely. So actually, um, I'm, I'm thinking, is it like um, what you said? for are you against being admitted in the hospital no I am NOT against that but I am against you falling ill to start with okay. as there will still be the sick among us anyway so if you find out that you fall ill then don't let it get complicated let's prevent complication for adventure you, there, there's a complication now let's prevent a ripple effect yeah I'll, I'll, I'll say something so because, how you know because um, <laughs> Lamy was, <laughs> was asking um, the guest we had earlier on on how they relate with how she was relating with the healthcare practitioners and yes. I can tell you for free that I lost someone very dear to me and I felt it was just negligence you know from yeah. the workers and when I read your profile I was excited about it because you you not only train 
families. Mm -hmm. You also train the healthcare the health, workers. Yes, How yes. has that reception been? Are they open to it? And are they actually, in, you know, you know, embracing yes, that new journey? Because we very need much to have more caring healthcare professionals. Everyone is tilting on towards the family. We had a family bond systems training in the month of August. We actually had two nurses um, from Ghana fly yeah. in for the first time to Nigeria to attend that. And what informed that decision? They want to, they, they see families grieving as a result of their sick ones in the hospital. Yeah. How can they engage families in the cause of their care? Yeah. How can we render family focused services? Yeah. So that was what made the but nurses who came for that training, they are very much open to it. But just to quote you, but what mm -hmm. I, I think the opposite is what happens in Nigeria. You go to see your sick one in the hospital, and the first thing the doctor or the nurse says, please step out, is pass them. You know, the way we were Why trained, do do with the way we were trained now unconsciously ignorantly take care of your patient they want their patient to get well that was the thought before so now it's changing that patient you want to get well has Needs. a connection yes you find that most of and then patients. in family nursing we say one thing that the patient is half of the patient the other half is the it's family, family. Yeah. Mm. so the family yeah. members are sick are as you the sure person that, that you know that we are getting want. there you know that most of the time all the sick patients your sick family members when you go in to see them they are more jovial they are more you know yes. they are happier yes. so why do they do in fact this? i was you reading the send you the first thing is please step out why? yes I, I i i am a member of the internet i'm the country representative of the International Family Nursing Association. And I read on Twitter yesterday, I think two days ago, mm. one of the founding members said that finally, I think it was in Calgary, Canada, finally, now they have taken off the strict visiting hours. Mm. Thank you. And they have based it on wishes and requests. Ah. Oh. So I just said thumbs up that I'm waiting, we're working towards having to get that established here back home in Nigeria and other African countries. Mm. So let the visiting are hours... Any, are there any hospitals that have incorporated that at the moment? We, we no, well, no, yes, none, that none, know, none that I know. You know honestly, but, everything I'm hearing right now is kind of strange to me. I know. I, had family, sorry, Lani, I okay. haven't had a family member who is sick. I'm, I haven't been to the hospital oh my in goodness. years. So I have no idea. It's like the conversation How is lying is like, over my head. The treatment is... Yeah. For good health. You know, so but what do you think would be, you know, some form of um, um, way that we as families would demand this kind of uh, we demand it from the healthcare workers. From the healthcare you understand? workers. I, so I because when we get there, at some times they just tell you, like she was saying, get get out of the room and all that. How do we now start to tell them? How because sometimes we are also tense. Yes. You understand? It's not yes. just. I don't like to just put it out there on the professionals yeah. themselves. We also can be so tense, and it is you know. So how do we strike that balance? That okay. The we, first thing. Yeah. We what, what like like what we do, we don't leave out the healthcare uh, consumers as the relatives the, of the, the sick yeah. one mm -hmm. so we also empower them know that the professionals have their limited the, the the gap in their knowledge as well so that's why we're doing trainings for them also mm -hmm. so first thing know at the back of your mind they care for their patients so they are not against you mm -hmm. okay that's 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 important that uh, people get to know okay. and then look for one person that you calmly would speak because they are tensed now the ratio of one nurse to a patient is far below the standard so they are experiencing their own pressure as well. Mm -hmm. So just look for one person that you say, that's my mom, or I know this about that person. I think this could help. Like we tell the professionals, what's your goal at the end of the day? To get this person well and out of the hospital. Well, well, so wouldn't you work with whatever would help facilitate okay, the yeah. achievement you know, you know the of that goal? They always have because of set rules. They don't want to get into trouble. Yes, and that is why when we, I, like, well, my profile rates, well, um, I'm a founding member of Linus. Africa International. So what we do is we build capacities of healthcare professionals, and we are, we have programs where we invite stakeholders. So, but Julie, before we and run, we tell we them, are, yes, mm -hmm. we have that to should be the starting point. Nursing Council is actually having a conference which they have invited yeah. us to yeah. at Abuja next week, yeah. and we are hoping to table a lot of these. Now that's the registered the number one nurse in Nigeria. Oh, okay. We are having that's that, fantastic. so we are going to table. I was going to I was going to go to um, quickly because we don't have time anymore. Yeah. Um, what would you say about the 
would I call it uh, everybody packing their bags and going abroad because of remuneration, you know, when it comes to healthcare workers, especially nurses. nurses yes. You know, yeah. So are you telling the nurse out there that it is, I mean, it's going to be a great time, you know, in Inter the interest, time. Interestingly, we've had so many international organizations approach our organization because they see that we have a wide network of nurses and telling us, oh, we, we need nurses, suppliers, nurses, and all of that. I said, hey, hold on. We're we not enough. after the money that you're going to <laughs> uh -huh. give to us, but this is what we have done. There's an intervention that we have created. Rather than have a brain drain, mm -hmm. we turned it into a brain gain. Okay. The nurses would leave. Mm -hmm. We can't stop them. So what we decided to do, we bring them up together, mm -hmm. we create a community of these nurses. We said, if you go, hi, yes, you could go with your immediate family members. But you have that sister that is now like, uh, you have that friend that is like a sister from another mother. Mm -hmm. You have that friend that is like a brother from another mother. Okay. You would not be happy if they go to the hospital and they can't get the care that they need and they die as a result of negligence there. and you're not there. Mm -hmm. So when you go, you get the money, make contributions, adopt a community project, whether it's a, a primary health care center, whatever. Develop the system back here because we are up for strengthening the healthcare system in brilliant. Africa. So that's, that's what we have decided to do because but is that practical? It is. It's we're, it's we're working. We're on it. In fact, there's one of our partners in Canada who said that you're, you're, you're going. Uh, once you have your PhD, you would have to return. Mm. They are creating a loan platform for nurses, and they tell them that you, ha once you get this loan, you promise you have to return. Go back to your country for a period of time. Awesome. And are working with us. Oh, that's awesome! That's awesome. That's that's thank you so much, Julie, Moore, for coming. I am I like so excited, I, and I'm sure every nurse out there has learned a, t a thing of two. Even and family also members, families as yes. well. Families and hospitals. Well. I, and I yes. cannot wait for this family board system to be in every hospital yes. because we truly do push, need push, it. We do need it. All right, Maje Aida joins us right after this break. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.